a very warm welcome to Adam's Gardening Guides into my garden here in the East Midlands in England. And this is the main flower border that divides the top half from the bottom half of my garden. And what I try and do in this area is to plant it with as much colour as possible for as long a season as possible, starting in spring with the daffodils and tulips. And then as we come through to summer, a succession of lovely hardy perennials and flowering plants to keep the display going. The back of the border has got the wedding cake tree, lovely variety called Cornus controversa variegata, give me the height and the structure with its outstretched branches. I've got black beauty, uh, an elder Sambucus at the back there, coming into flower now. Remember it flowers on its two-year-old wood and older. And then with the backdrop of shrubs and taller plants, I've got a succession of flowers coming round to this wonderful display at the front. Geranium Magnificum really is magnificent. It lives up to its name, doesn't it? This is a hardy geranium or a crane's pill, and I grow it in a big block through the front of my flower border. It gives you early summer colour. It's a generous variety, clump forming, forming big clumps which will gradually spread over time. It has a really lovely lobed leaf. Let me come round here and go in a little bit closer. See that beautiful lobe shape that you've got, petal fallen down there. Beautiful shaped green leaf, forms a lovely big bold clump and it flowers with this wonderful display of delicately veined petals. One of its common names is sometimes the purple geranium or the purple crane spill because of the beautiful colour of the petals and that lovely intricate marking which really sets off the flowers to perfection. The bees adore them too. This variety will be alive with bees through the summer when it's in flower. And it contrasts well with a number of things. The front of my border here, I've got a little sedum, but up through the Geranium Magnificum, I've got some alliums, Christophii there, and uh, a lovely bold Gigantium variety. And alongside the alliums, I've got some Alstroemeria. This is a variety called Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother had this for many years in the border. It's just spread naturally in amongst the other plants, weaving its way across the border and sending up the flower spikes at intervals to layer on some extra height and colour to the flowering display. That's the lovely thing about Alstroemerias. They'll weave their way through your borders and add just that touch of extra colour. And if I want, I could pull these stems, just give them a little bit of a tug at the bottom and pull them as cut flowers to bring indoors and enjoy in the house. Astrantes are another lovely hardy perennial to add to your flower borders. This is Astrantia Roma and it has a common name of Hattie's Pincushion. I think you can see why. These little flowers look as if they're covered with pins, hence the common name. These form nice bold clumps too and they'll spread nicely in your borders and being fully hardy come back every year. And uh, Astrantes are available in lots of different colours too. So you can go from deep, almost blood coloured variety like Hadspun's blood, white ones and even ones with variegated leaves. So check out the Astrantes and maybe add these to contrast with other plants in your flowering borders. So Geranium Magnificum puts on this tremendous display of flowers, grows to about 18 inches, two foot in height, spreads into nice clumps over the years, is fully hardy, creates a lovely, lovely display which the bees adore. So if you're trying to attract bees into your garden, this certainly is a bee loving plant I'd recommend and you will be treated with this lovely display of large blue flowers 
each with that wonderful dark veining on it. Treat yourself to this plant, you really won't be disappointed. And as with all hardy geraniums, they will die back in winter and I will cut them right down to soil level. All of that top growth will die down, trim them right back hard and next spring they will burst into new growth with new shoots to put on another magnificent flowering display. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel at Adam's Gardening Guides. Thank you very much. And I've got several other crane spills or hard geraniums in my garden as well. This is a little geranium called Cantabrigiense and it stays beautifully low so it's great for a ground cover situation here planted alongside my lawn to edge my border. I've had this in here for many many years now and the clump has just spread out nicely. It is very very well behaved so if you've got an area in your garden that could do with some ground cover perhaps at the front of a border underneath some taller growing plants then geranium cantabrigiense could be just the thing to choose. Just like so many geraniums the flowers act like magnets for bees which adore feeding from their flowers. And it's pretty easy to propagate too. It spreads nicely as I say but if you delve down into the crown and you follow the stems back to their base you can just pull some pieces away like this, pop these up separately and you've got yourself a new plant for free. You really can find the crane spill for any situation around the garden and here in this rose bed surrounding these roses I've put a fringe all the way around the bed of the bloody crane spill. This is geranium sanguineum which again in early summer has got these wonderful vibrant flowers which are developing. The bees love them too and this spreads out into a thick clump. Another variety that you'll cut down to ground level in the winter so I'll let it die down completely in the autumn, cut all of the old growth away in the spring it will surge up to produce these new shoots with these wonderful vibrant little flowers adding an enchanting display and setting off the roses in this bed beautifully. One of the earliest hardy geraniums to flower in my garden is this one called Sabani Blue. Produces a lovely clump which spreads year by year, fills in a corner of one of my beds to produce a lovely low crown of foliage and flower. Once those flowers have finished, which is usually sometime through May time into early June, I cut all of the leaves off, keep the clump well watered to encourage new shoots to grow and within a few weeks you'll have a lovely carpet of new foliage and hopefully some more flowers later in the year to enjoy. Geranium Roseanne is a really stunning variety too, producing lovely crowns of new leaves as we move through the spring into April and May and producing its first flowers from probably around about June onwards. Beautiful succession of these sky blue flowers produced right the way through summer into autumn. The bees adore feeding from them too. This spreads into a nice generous clump so I usually plant it towards the front of my border so that it doesn't smother neighbouring plants and let it spread out to put on a striking show of colour right the way through till the end of the year. And there'll be more flowering plants coming up through the season to continue that succession of colour right the way through to the end of the year. Well I hope you've enjoyed this video, more videos coming soon. Thank you for joining me and happy gardening.